This is a project over Frankenstein by Devin, Mallory, and Logan. We feel as though Mary Shelley attempted to point out in her novel Frankenstein that it is not the scientific technology that Victor used that was harmful, but it was the intentions behind the creation of the creature that created the ultimate downfall of both Victor and the monster. Mary Shelley agreed with the use of scientific technology for scientific exploration as long as it was being used for the correct reasons. In this case, Victor did not use scientific exploration to better humanity, but rather to enhance his own status and bring glory to himself. Victor solely created the creature in order to be seen and treated as a god figure. He only thought about what he wanted and did not consider the possible consequences or responsibility that would come with creating life. Once he created the creature and realized that it wasn't what he had expected, he was completely repulsed by his creation, which caused him to not fulfill the duties that were bestowed on him when he created the creature. He said, I had desired it with an ardor that far exceeded moderation, but now that I had finished, the beauty of the dream vanished, and breathless horror and disgust filled my heart. Unable to endure the aspect of the being I had created, I rushed out of the room and continued a long time traversing my bedchamber, unable to compose my mind to sleep. By not fulfilling the responsibility to nurture the monster, the monster ended up despising his creator, which led him to becoming insane. The creature was empathetic and had love in his heart. He was not the problem. The problem was that Victor did not provide the nurture that the creature felt that he deserved. The creature was kind and gentle by nature. Victor was the one who caused the destruction. Some people may believe that the insanity of this monster is due to the technology which created it. But it was the creator who neglected this creature who truly created this demented monster. The monster was actually not inherently bad but became bad because of the way people rejected and neglected him. He longed for affection and love just as anyone and felt that Victor had condemned him to a life of isolation. If Victor would have treated him right, the creation of the monster might have turned out to be a good thing. This presents an ethical problem because while creating life could be used for the good of mankind, Victor created life and then left it to be on its own. This in and of itself proves the belief that that it is not the technology itself that is at fault, but rather the intentions behind the scientific exploration that created the destruction. Another reason that Shelley agreed with this point, that it is not technology, but the way that it is used, is because during this time period, there was not much technology and most people were very, very curious as to what it could do. They wanted to further expand and improve it. During the Romanticism era, everything was based on people's emotions and feelings. Emotion over reason was the main mindset. This would explain why Shelley used a character such as Victor, who acted solely on what he was feeling. He completely embodied this mindset which is why he created the creature in the first place, without considering the consequences. His feelings were something that led him to abandoning the creature, which ultimately led to the creature becoming a murderer. She was trying to sh- Shelley was trying to show that scientific exploration and even creating life could be a good thing, which is why she made the monster originally good. By using Victor, who is selfish and irresponsible, She is commenting on the often selfish ways of man in order to show that if technology gets in the wrong hands, it could go horribly wrong.